this is Mac OS X Tutorials video screencast number one and I'm planning on making a bunch of videos pretty soon regarding anything whether it's uh, PHP or web design in general Photoshop or how to use a Mac something I've just been on how to do a Mac and things like that so I was going to teach you in this tutorial how to get Mac installed or um, PHP installed on your Mac it's uh, with Leopard it's very easy um, open up your system preferences. If you don't have it on your dock like I do, click on the Apple menu and go down to system preferences. Um, from on here, you're going to click on the sharing under internet and network. Okay. Once here, you should see the web sharing service. Click on it and make sure you check it. it might take it a while, but it'll turn it on and you'll notice that you have your computer's website. So um, I'll go ahead and open that up in Safari and you'll notice that we just we've already created a whole website with the web server it's really easy to do with PHP and um, what you'll do is if you want to go to your username you'll add the little squiggly thing above the tab sign and your username um, not your public name like mine's Mac OS X Toots but your actual username with no spaces and you should get this little template right here now now you're wondering, well, how do I change that template? Um, very easy. Go to Finder, under Sites, you'll see two files, Images and Index.html, and these are your two files. So if I open this folder up, in TextMate, I can change whatever I want. And so my website, I'll just change it to my website, because it's not yours. <laughs> and so that's how you do that. Um, another thing I'm going to show you how to do is to install Ruby on Rails. Now Ruby on Rails is once again already installed on OS X, you just have to know how to run it. So open up Spotlight, I just pressed Command Space to open it up and type in um, Terminal. Okay, and open it up and type in Rails and then My Site, just like that. Now when you do this it is going to add a folder to your home directory make sure you do not type in a folder that you already have or to overwrite and add contents inside that folder like one time i added i made i was following a tutorial with rails and they asked they said uh, now make a folder called library well i did that and now uh, i don't have it on this name but i'll have a bunch of files in my other name on the library because of that so make sure you do something that's not already there okay and re press return and it should run and install another folder inside of this and if we wanted to open up our um, site type in CD whatever folder you, folder you used I used my site okay and then type in Ruby script forward slash generate and we're going to want to uh, server okay and that should start the server and hmm, I might be doing that wrong R Ruby script generate server hmm say script generate I don't think I can look through all the contents of that so well, that is gone. Um, so I don't know how to get it to run. Ruby script server. Well, that run. Okay, it is Ruby forward slash script forward slash or Ruby script server, just like that, and that will start it. So you can go to localhost colon 3000 and you're running your rails and if you click on this hopefully you get this yellow box that shows you all of the information about your rails installation and you're set to start learning over your rails if you don't already know it so um that's how you get your own small website running um i'm gonna go ahead and delete that uh, okay so well my favorite thing about it is because if you create a website in iWeb, you can save it as a template in your sites folder and open it up 
brought here. Okay, so it's um, pretty cool. And, okay, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.